hello everyone we have some updates for radiant gi and the first thing is we have a new section for performance in which we have two new options ray tracer accuracy lets you downscale the depth buffer used during ray march improving gpu cache efficiency especially on less capable hardware Downsampling will just downsample everything from the input color image to the depth buffer as well. We also have a new artistic control section, a few options that let you customize the final result. Brightness threshold will tell the system to discount values lower than the ones we put in. Maximum brightness will limit the brightness of the entire GI solution. And saturation controls the saturation of the GI solution. Finally, for this section, we have the option to limit the volume bounds, which will limit the effect to the bounds of the volume. And now for the most important new addition, fallback mode. You know, in this solution, when bright objects uh, leave the screen, they don't affect the GI solution anymore. So we figure out a workaround for this. We can reuse rays, we can use reflection probe data, or we can use both and let the system choose which is better. This means that the GI solution will work even if the bright objects are off-screen. Radiant GI will blend the nearest two reflection probes to the camera automatically. You can also specify which reflection probe can be used by Radiant GI by just adding the Radiant Probe script. Check the documentation for more details. Now, if we take a look at the Cornell Box demo scene, you can see that if I rotate the camera, everything turns to black. Now let's switch on the fallback mode. As you can see, if I rotate the camera and the bright object leaves the scene, the scene is still illuminated. So that's it for all the updates in the version 3.1 of Radiant GI. Stay tuned for more updates and subscribe to get notified.